Hi everybody, Ralph Shaheen with you here at the World Finals. Our speed sport coverage brought to you by Crosley. Well, this car back here, that Napa number 49 of this guy, Brad Sweet, has been the car to beat for the last three years in the World of Outlaws Championship. And you're 106 points up going into the final day on Saturday here in Charlotte, and it could be your third championship. Did you ever think you'd get three in a row? I mean, honestly, no. Uh, you, you dream about it, obviously, and you, you want to win championships, uh, you know, in any series that you get into. And, you know, obviously, I watched the World of Outlaws growing up. I watched Sammy Swindell and Steve Kinzer. And uh, you start to put your name in these categories, uh, you know, along with these, these guys that you're, were your heroes and, and seeing Donnie Schatz do everything he's done over the last, you know, decade or two. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's all happened really fast. You know, obviously, the first one was super hard. And, Last year with COVID was a, was a shortened season and, and kind of weird. So this year was, was the full deal, and, and uh, I feel like this is the first year we ever came to the World Finals and, and kind of have it clinched. So it's it's pretty relaxing weekend and uh, a lot of fun to celebrate, have a lot of family and friends here. And, you know, to, to get K Casey Kane his third championship, he's always believed in me, you know, his fourth championship, my third championship, Nap Auto Parts. Uh, it's just a great team. It's a good team effort, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. This is one of the toughest championships to win in all of motorsports because there's so many races all around the country, such a wide variety of dirt and tracks and everybody you got to battle with. What have you learned over these three championships that has made you a better driver? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the World of Outlaw Tours is based upon experience. You know, I think you got to, there's just so much to it. It's not just being a good driver. It's not just having a good mechanic. It's kind of everything. You got to have a good car owner that believes in you. You got to have a good engine builder. You got to have, you know, a good chassis builder. You got to have a great team behind you, a good crew chief. And then the driver has to go, you know, run these 90 races three or four years before you start to adapt to all the different racetracks. So uh, it's a lot of experience and, and, you know, keeping notebooks and, and being driven to win. Uh, obviously, Chase and Donnie for all those years, you know, really drove me to another level, uh, you know, gained the experience, won the Knoxville Nationals, you know, just kept elevating. And, uh, you know, now it's just about consistency. It's, you know, you know, when we have a bad night, it's about rebounding. Uh, you never let, want to let anything compound. You know, if, you, if you're having two bad nights, you know, you, you just really need to recover and, and have a strong mind. So, you know, the World of Outlaw Tour is very grinding. And, uh, you know, the older you get, I think the more relaxed. Obviously, once you get the championships, it's, you know, it's easier to kind of get through those ups and downs uh, that the year will throw at you. So we're in a good place right now. Obviously, we want to keep it rolling. Everyone's chasing us, and uh, we know it's only going to get harder. First we called you champ, then we called him back-to-back -back champ. Now it's three-time champ. You know what the next thing is? Hall of Famer. On his way, stacking the deck right here this weekend in Charlotte. Stay tuned with us here on Speedsport. All of our coverage coming to you by Crosley. We'll have it all for you from the World Finals.